I'm just getting ready for the day. Uh, it's the afternoon right now and I am just going to run some errands, get myself set and ready for the week ahead of me so that I can feel, you know, like I can have the best, the best week ahead of me. So I'm just going to get ready and then take you guys along with me. I don't have a whole lot to do. I think I, well, I know I need to run to the grocery store. Um, then I want to go to, I think, a couple of thrift or antique stores that I keep hearing about that I am just interested in seeing what they have. And that's pretty much it. I might go to a plant store because it's winter, everything is cold, and there's no plants that are green outside. And my soul is just missing that a lot. So I'm going to get ready really quick, do my makeup. Um, before I do that, though, I wanted to show you guys something that... I've been kind of shocked by how well it's been working. I'm pretty sure I am so late to the party on this, but I saw a TikTok <laughs> about a magnesium-based deodorant, and I know there can be a lot of toxins in deodorants, and I've only been more recently looking into that. I am by no means an expert. I've just done a little bit of research. In my research of ma this magnesium-based deodorant, I originally went to the store looking for the magnesium deodorant. Couldn't find it, but then I stumbled upon the, like, natural deodorants. Um, the one that I ended up settling on is a mineral salt deodorant spray. It's from Sprouts. Sprouts is kind of like a more affordable Whole Foods. It kind of has the same vibes as Trader Joe's. Um... It has just like more natural things, essential oils, organic foods, stuff like that, but it's more affordable. So we like that. And I'm kind of shocked by how well this has been working. I've been using it for maybe two and a half weeks now. Um, you can actually get a chunk of mineral salt to rub on your armpits, which are just like, what, what? Like, I thought it was a gimmick, but for me personally, this stuff has been working super, super, super well. This is super interesting to me because you can also use it as a foot spray. So I'm <laughs> so intrigued by that. Sometime I'm just going to spray it on my feet and then wear some, like, uh, I have some mules. Maybe that'll wear and, like, see if my feet smell dank at the end of the day. I don't know. I'm very intrigued by that. But this is really... It's good so far. It's the same thing as the actual lump of salts that you can rub on your armpits. I just wanted something that could close because we have dogs and I didn't want dog hair landing all over the salt thing. I don't know if it comes with a co cover. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get ready and then we'll head out to run some errands. about uh, in the new year is protecting what I allow into my mind especially in the morning and at night time I feel like emotionally and mentally my mind is maybe not the word vulnerable isn't exactly the word I'm looking for but we'll just go with it I find that my mind is a lot more affected by what I'm listening to early in the morning or late at night before bed so I try really hard to check in with myself. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't check my social media, I don't check my texts, I just get up, start doing what I need to do, doing my routine, and once I get out of the shower and start getting ready, I like to listen to things, but before I do, I just do a little check-in. If I'm feeling really, really anxious, I will steer clear from listening to a podcast or listening to, I love listening to like, biographical podcasts or like life reflection podcasts, things like that. Um, but sometimes I find that can be really overwhelming if I'm listening to too many self-help life gurus. And I, I like to listen to Christian podcasts, but even with those, sometimes I, my brain is just like, this is too much. I'm feeling overwhelmed. It actually can cause me to feel self-critical sometimes. So I, if I'm feeling that way, I'll either just 
be silent in the morning and actually force myself to just have some quiet and peace because I know I'm going to be hit with the million and one sounds and things, especially if it's a work day. It's just like there's just a lot coming at us during the day. So I'm just like preparing my mind, allowing it to be peaceful in my mind. If I'm feeling that way, if I have a bad attitude, if I'm grumpy, I really, really like listening to worship music in the morning. Um, so I've got a playlist of my favorite worship songs that I, that's what I'm playing now. I'm not grumpy. I just don't feel good this morning. I've just got a really bad headache. Um, and a little bit of a stuffy nose, like a little congestion. So I just, I'm trying to set my attitude a little bit better by listening to worship music. And then sometimes if I'm feeling like I'm good, I'm fine, I'll listen to a podcast. There's nothing wrong with that in the morning, but that's just something that I've just tried to be really, really self-aware with in the new year and it's really helped me set my day on the right foot because I've set my mind on the right trajectory before I do anything. It's been really helpful. Something that I've also really, really liked to do in the mornings if I'm not feeling overwhelmed, if I'm feeling like I want to be learning something is I, I have the Bible app on my phone and they have some really, really good devotional plans. My favorite one um, that I have done so far is one about God's character. It's done by the, Bi I think that it's called the Bible Project. I think it's what the company is. Um, they have a whole YouTube channel and they do really, really cool animated explanations of the Bible. And it's definitely worth listening to. They're really good. Um, but I would watch these videos along with the devotional in the morning and that one that I was just talking about, the one about God's character, talks about how he's compassionate, how he's just. It, And I think it's a seven-day series, um, but I really enjoy listening to those too because then I'm like listening to a story so my mind is occupied if I need to like occupy my mind in the morning, but then I'm also learning more about the Bible. I've just felt like recently I need to up my game and just be more scripturally equipped. I, my mind is not a numbers mind. I'm not good at memorizing things. And so it's really hard for me to have just like scriptural recall or remember exact Bible verses and words and things. So that's just something that I felt like I want to be better at in the new year. So that's why I have just started to listen to these devotionals. So um, what I really like about the Bible app is all the devotionals that I've listened to so far, you can read but you can also listen to them. So it will actually read to you the whole devotional and it's um, really good for when you're getting ready in the morning. So I don't have to like sit down and read it if I'm, I don't typically do quiet times in the morning, like sit down, read journal. I do that before bed. So that's why in the morning we're all, I still like to have like a, a check-in, like to be in the Bible, in the word, um, but it's while I'm getting ready. So that's also something that I really enjoy doing. So yeah, the reason I felt like I should explain that is because I realized that I'm like singing along as I'm doing this get ready with me time lapse. And that's why it's because I'm listening to worship music this morning. are ready to go. I need a haircut so we're experimenting with the bangs being curly, wavy, whatever they're doing so hair's a little chaotic today but yeah just got a long sleeve. It's actually my husband's <laughs> white button down underneath this. I got this thrifted pullover. I'm such a sucker for giant crew neck pullovers. Got some baggy jeans on from H&M. And then these are just some Reeboks. And then I got this cutie little bag. Um, it says up to you on it. I just like that. It's from Zara. Got it for Christmas. But yeah, it's everything we're working with. Let's, let's hit the road. Bye. So my sad news, the plant store I wanted to go to was closed today. So we won't be seeing any pretty plants. That's okay. So we're just gonna go to the grocery store. I spotted in the wild. Hey, Queen. Okay, let me see your nails. 
I want to show the people. This is by hand. <laughs> Can we see your Thank other you. hand? Thank you. Hand. It's not a stamp. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What do you rate it on a scale of one to ten? Like it's a solid seven. What's not higher? It doesn't taste like cherry vanilla to me. Can I try a sip? Yeah. I think I've tried the cherry cola. It's good. It just doesn't taste like cherry vanilla. Would you agree? Yeah. No. And not bad. Yeah. Not what I thought though. Okay. TJ Maxx haul. Okay. So I got a couple things of jewelry. Thank you. Little earrings. Cute. Well, they have a little cross on it. Wait, those are really cute. Cute. I got a little angel number Shut necklace. Up. Isn't that That's so cute? Really cute? Angels are guiding you. What's the three mean? What is that? I don't, I think it's like a guidance angel number. Oh, that's what that's the angels what are guiding is. you. And then this was only $6 and it's Levi's. Wait, cute. That's so cute. Isn't that adorable? The ruffles are cute. It's would you wear like a bucks. turtleneck underneath it or something? Yes, or if it was in the summertime, I would probably tape my boobs. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just got this. Cute. That's so cute. It's cozy. Like it feels like, um, almost like one of those towel shirts, but without the... Almost like terry cloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah. like a very unique fabric. Wait, cute. That but angel that number is really cute. That would be so cute under this. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Wow. some cute jeans. Go off, queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the haul. Since we didn't get to go to the thrift store, I thought I would give you guys a little haul of the goods that I picked up today. We got some pretty good goods. So, went to the grocery store and went to Target. Everything else was closed, which is fine. It's a Sunday night, so that actually makes sense. I should have gone earlier today, but oh well. So, first of all, I'm going to show you guys my grocery store haul and then I will show you guys what I got at Target. I picked up some like dupe things um, that have gone viral and I'm just late to the trend on but I figured I would try them out because they went viral for a reason hopefully right. Okay so grocery store I have been on my tofu grind. I've realized I've just not eaten a lot of protein in my life. One because I just don't love meat and two, I don't love cooking it because it's just so gross to me. I'll eat it. I love me a good Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, some chicken nuggets, but it's the prep work that just grosses me out. And I just like meatless protein better. Um, so my husband and I have been on the tofu grind and I made a recipe. Um, I'll link it down in the description box because it was so good. I found it on Pinterest. It's a chorizo tofu. So it tastes just like chorizo. Um, and then I make breakfast burritos with it. It's so good. So I'll show you guys what I put in it. So I bake these bad boys, these little gold potatoes. Obviously we have the tortillas. Tortillas. And then you know what the way I was going through this is not gonna work. I'll just show you guys what I got. So also some chips. Here are two for three, so I said yes. I also got this. Forgot I had chocolate covered almonds in there. Oops. Because my sister texted this to me and then I saw it on TikTok too, so I'm gonna actually make these tonight. You soak whole carrots in chicken broth. I got no salt added because sodium is bad for doggos. And then you freeze them, and then you can give it to the whole thing to your dog like a bone, which is very intriguing to me. Hi, baby. Hi. I got both of them right here. Do you smell the carrots? Can you see? Oh, you can't see their snoots. Scout, come here. Come here. Cute. I think they're gonna really like them. They love baby carrots. We give those to them as a snack sometimes, so I think it'll be the move. Oh, the almonds are cold. Ah! I saw Claudia. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Last name. I think it's Saluski. Saluski. 
she posted after she went grocery shopping she was just eating green olives from a bottle and said it was a whole mood and i can confirm it was a mood my sister and i plowed through half of these they're so good and they're so good to snack on too it was an absolute move so claudia is a queen for suggesting that so that's why they're half eaten already I am making protein smoothies for breakfast this week. So I just got some more um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I normally get uh, unsweetened original almond milk because I'm lactose intolerant. So the unsweetened, not vanilla, you can actually use to cook with, but I don't think I'm gonna make anything this week that requires regular milk. So vanilla is good. And then I can mix it in my coffee too. And to go in those smoothies, I also got this vegan protein, again, vegan because so much protein powder, so many of the brands have dairy in them, which is fine, but there are very, there's a very minimal selection, at least where I shop for groceries, for dairy-free protein powders. So I've had this one before. I know that it's good. It's vanilla, vegan protein, soy-free, gluten-free, so let's be going in my smoothies too. Then I picked up some blueberries. These were on sale, which is amazing. These will go in my smoothies. Spinach to go in my smoothies. Can you guess smoothies? Smoothies. That was everything that I got for the smoothies. And then I just got a couple of odds and ends. Like I got some yogurts. If you guys haven't had this brand, it's really yummy. I tried it last week. It's Siggy's, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's really high protein for such a small serving. The flavor is really yummy. Uh, I like the way that they look. I think it's really cute. They're on sale. And then, of course, you can't make tofu chorizo breakfast burritos without the tofu. I like the extra firm. I've honestly never tried soft tofu before. Don't know if I would really be able to tell the difference, to be totally honest with you, but... This is like $1.70 for four servings. Five servings. Come on. That's so cheap. Such cheap protein. And then for the husband, Mexican style cheese for those breakfast Ritos. Salsa. The Sprouts brand of hot salsa is actually pretty good. And then my coworkers, my coworkers and I have been talking about these. And last time I checked for them, they were sold out. So I picked up a couple of these for us to try. It's a liquid death. It's so good. It's so good. I've never tried the flavored kind though. I've only had their just like sparkling water. So I got one, it's called Bury It Alive. Their branding is immaculate. I just, I think it's the coolest thing ever. The way that they design them, the whole concept behind them. They're just so fun looking. So I got Berry, uh, Severed Lime. And then this last one, which sounds amazing, Mango Chainsaw, that one. So I'll be bringing these to work with me tomorrow. And honestly, I'm sure they all taste delicious. I haven't met a seltzer water that I don't like, so we got those. Okay, that's all the groceries. You can't see in front of me right now. Actually, I'll show you guys. It's, there's a lot going on. Look at all these groceries. So that's my little grocery haul for the week. But then let me show you guys what I got at Target. First of all, not related, but I love these. I can eat a whole, whole pack of them in a whole day. I love the burning mint, it's so good. Okay, and then I picked up a couple of makeup items that have gone, well, all but one, I'm not sure about the last one, that are like viral dupes for expensive makeup products. So this is one that I'm not sure of, but I needed a new setting powder and the, this one intrigued me. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. Very intrigued by this. I hope it doesn't have glitter chunks in it. That always concerns me with like glowy products. You wanna look like you're glowing from within, not like you bathed in glitter, you know? Okay, this, it's viral for the dupe. It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, camo CC Cream, I got it in the color fair 120 n because we're on that no fake tan grind right now i just got a couple of new tattoos and i can't fake fake tan which is fine we're just thriving in our natural skin which is 
really pale. So we got this color. Um, I have not ever found a CC cream that I love, but I'm hopeful. I'm really, really hopeful for this. Okay, then I also got, I know I'm, I'm late to the trends on these, but I got the Essence mascara that everybody is obsessed with. I don't know if I got the right one. Like there's, I think a blue, there's a pink one. I got the one that's the false lashes effect. So hopefully this was the correct one to get. But in general, I just know that this mascara has gone viral. I need a new one. And then I also, this is not viral, but this is my tread and I've been using it for like the last three years. Eyebrow filler. It's in the color espresso the fill and fluff i just love the applicator it's so good and then it has a really interesting little brush on the end of it so if your lines are harsh you can like brush through it and it it softens them a little bit so that's everything that i got not a huge haul today i wish i could be showing you some cute plants or some cool thrifted items that i found but that's okay because that just means I will get to go to the thrift store another time. So I'm gonna put all my groceries away, stack them up in the fridge, and then I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's only, uh-oh, my watch is dying. It's only 7.20 right now, p.m., but tomorrow's Monday back on that work week grind. I really want to try to start getting up early in the morning. The amount of times that I've set my alarm to go off. So I go to the gym before work to like really kickstart my day, get the good vibes going. And then I just sleep in because I am just not a morning person. So maybe at some point in the near future, I'll post a video of me trying to become a morning person and going to the gym. I'll chronicle my early mornings. We'll see, maybe. It just hurts so bad to get up so I know that's so fussy of me I'm just so much more of a night person but maybe I'll go to bed early maybe I'll go to bed early tonight like nine ish I normally go at like 10 10 30 so it's not like that much of a difference but probably just get ready for bed and get ready for my week so yeah thanks so much for joining me on my little kickstart the week on a Sunday. Sorry that my plans didn't totally go the way that they're supposed to, but it's okay. You know, it's okay. We weren't meant to go thrifting today. It's all right. Probably a good thing. I hope you enjoyed watching today with me. I know it was really low key, but sometimes low key days are nice. So thanks for being low key with me. I appreciate you. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I'm new to the YouTube neighborhood and I know that there are so many other videos and people that you could be watching so I'm really grateful that you chose to watch mine. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, liking the video, you know the drill. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a really good start to your week or middle of the week or night, wherever you're at in your week. I hope it's good. Okay, bye.